Hey Botnik, guess what? I found the first aid kit. I don't need any more, so it's all yours now. Alright, so we have the first aid kit now. And here comes Silver. Botnik, you're awake. Hi there. So how do you feel? Not so bad. Ready to continue our mission? Great. By the way, I heard that Team Darkness left the town for good. Those guys, who you fought back then, probably headed south and searched for more of these orbs. We gotta stop them and rescue- oh! You're right. Let's get going right away. Alright, so we have Silver back. So now we have the first aid kit. There's that guy that says he needs the first aid kit, so... Let's go give it to him then. Oh, by the way, you'll notice that uh, there was a guy right here in the, the last part, but he's gone now. Well, that's because he wasn't actually a trainer. If you talk to him, he'll try to sell you an old rod. So, yeah, I decided to uh, get the old rod from him, and that's why he's gone now. So, I already defeated you. And actually, another thing uh, we should do here. Now that we have uh, Cut, well, let's see here. Ivysaur is able to use Cut. Uh, what move can I get rid of? You know what, let's get rid of Tackle, because Tackle's not a very good move. Let's just give Ivysaur Cut. This tree can be cut. Want to use cut? Yes. The only thing, though, is that my Pokemon are pretty high leveled, so... Attacking this, this Charmander might take it out in one hit, but this is Charmander. That's odd. It looks like that Pokemon is trying to protect that berry tree. Char. Also, you do get something good out of either catching Charmander or defeating it. Just saying. Okay. It's at very low health. Let's try to catch it. Darn it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, Pokeballs aren't even working here. Oh, okay, there. It worked that time. Alright, well, we caught Charmander. We wasted quite a few of our Pokeballs there, but... Give a nickname to Charmander? No. And that's it. Now, Fruit Bearing 3. Fruit, be fruit Bearing Tree, geez. First Cure Berry. Wait! There's something else in this berry tree. Two rare candies. That's right. Two of them. That is really good find right there. So, there we go. We get two rare candies out of that. That's pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna use it on any of my, uh... Any of my Pokemon, though. At least not... Not yet, anyway. Now, actually... Before we continue on here, get the first aid kit... You go here, you find a revive to stay alive. You get the bitter berry from this tree. You go over here, this guy says, Hey you, have you ever seen a Pokemon of this kind before? Yeah, an Eevee. Oh yeah, that's an Eevee, I own one. You do, huh? You're the right person to take care of this item then. The D-Stone. I'm not really sure what this item is supposed to do. D-Stone, what does it do? I really don't know. All I know is that a person training Eevee should hold it. Yeah. Except we don't have Eevee anymore. We have Espeon now, so... It's an ancient book about a forest that was once inhabited by lots of Pokemon. There's a magical portal that leads to this forest. Go inside? We can go inside if we want. And we're here. I'm really ner I'm really not sure what we're supposed to do. The forest was once a beautiful place until it slowly started to die. It was as if pieces of it had been whisked away. Whisked away. I can't speak English. God. Yeah, I really don't know what I'm supposed to do with the D-Stone. A strange looking stone. Can I use it? Oh, I can use it on Espeon. Okay. Now, I'm actually gonna do a save state here. Because I'm not, I'm not really sure what this thing even does. Oh, it evolves back into Eevee. Well, I don't want that, so... Reload the state, please. Alright, I want to get the heck out. I'm fine with I'm fine with Espeon. I don't need the D Stone. I'm happy with Espeon. Psychic type Pokemon. Psychic types are powerful, in my opinion. How about we go sell this at the mart? Wow, twenty five hundred Poke Dollars for that. That's pretty good. But yeah, I I really do not want it though. So I really don't. Replenish my uh, 
Pokeballs here. How many do I have now? Nine? No, forgot. Forgot one. There we go. Now I have ten. And just because I have way too much time on my hands, I went and did this. I made I made the uh, Nidorino learn uh or no not Nidorino because it can't uh, learn dig. Uh, I made War Turtle learn dig I should say, so it has dig here and I apparently can't use it here. Not really sure what I would be able to use it for, but okay. I have no idea though, but I made it learn dig, so I use that. As you can see, I also have another Pokemon here which is Sneasel. I already leveled it up to. The level my other Pokemon are at. And I'm not really sure if it's a good Pokemon or not. I made it learn Icy Wind, by the way. Scratch, Fame Tech, and Screech. Screech doesn't have 100% accuracy, but has 40 PP. As you can see, though, it's very fast, and it has a lot of strength, so it might be good for physical attacks. So I think maybe I will keep it on my team for now. So, yeah. Uh talk to this guy here, because we're finally here. Hey, I see you got a first aid kit there. Would you please give it to me so that I can fix my leg? Sure. Thanks, boy! And there you go. Who's out of the way? And, yeah, he's gone, just like that. Got an item up here. TM9. Okay, what is that, exactly? Yeah, by the way, I used up all my Pokeballs on catching Sneasel, because I was trying to catch it at full health. Because all my other moves just, like, took it out in one hit, so... I'm not really going to be getting another Pokemon on my team, though, because I already have six, so... Doesn't matter. Psych up. Copies to foe's stat changes. Okay. Keep it for now. Uh, this guy looks optional, so I'm going to speed up this battle. Hey, I saw you help that Karate Man who had hurt his leg. Yeah, what about it? And you still have Rattatas, really? Get you in your Rattatas. Oh, that would have been bad, because Houndour was a uh, Fire-type. Sneasel's part Ice-type. No, keep going. Actually, what about Faint Attack? Wow, took it out in one hit. Okay. Darn, darn I lost the match. Alright. It was a great thing that you did. Of course it was. You have somebody in need. Let's go down here now. I just sped that battle up because he, he was definitely optional. A young boy passed by a while ago. I remember him from the capital, but I just can't remember his name. What do you have to say? You must be part of Team Darkness! What? Oh, I apologize. I really thought you were one of them. It looked like you were wearing the same black clothes they do, but my eyes must have deceived me. That's all he does. Wait, does he do it again? Yes, he does! Wow. You have very terrible eyesight, but whatever. Okay. Area 105, Mount Lima. It's a fruit-bearing tree. It's Pizen Cure Berry again. G-Trainer. Delibird's cute, but I don't have it. You have Delibird? I'm gonna trade for my Stantler. No. It, excuse me, lady. What is it with all these NPCs and cutting me off? Jeez. Uh, battle this guy, but he's obviously optional. So, you know what? I might not even show this battle. Yeah. All he had were Magikarp. Just incredible. Uh, this trainer obviously looks optional as well. Yeah, I'm not gonna show this battle either. All right. Well, he had better Pokemon. He had better Pokemon that time. He had a Wooper and a Tentacool, so no stupid Magic Art. He just sees me from over here and battles. Oh, it's Roland. Hi, Botnik. It's me, Roland. I just finished packing up and started a journey of my own. How have you been doing? I see. So you were in Highland Town, huh? Hey, I know. You should be pretty good at Pokemon if you've been traveling that long already, so how about a Pokemon match? I'll take you on. Alright then. Let's do it. Alright. Camper Roland. Okay, he's an actual, like, trainer class, apparently. Meowth. What if I just do Faint Attack? Well, I don't want to overlevel Sneasel, so... Okay. Bite, that's not going to do a lot. Critical hit, not very effective. Another faint attack. Yeah, I think I'm going to switch out because I don't want to overlevel Sneasel. I didn't use my, any of my uh, rare candies on Sneasel, just so you know. I still have the two rare candies I uh, received from uh, defeating Charmander. Or, no, catching Charmander. Star you. Uh, yeah. Not, not to Vulpix. 
Not to Vulpix though, because I think Stardew's a water type. Maybe Espeon? Oh my god, the colors on... The colors on all these Pokemon, they look so weird. How will Bite do? Uh, it does a lot of damage. Yeah, I'll just use Bite then. Alright. The first Staryu. What's his last Pokemon? Cubone. Alright. Well, in that case, Ivysaur. And while I was leveling up my Pokemon off screen, yeah, Ivysaur learned Razor Leaf. And of course it misses. Oh wow, nobody even got to do anything on that turn because Cubone tried to do a move but it failed. Incredible. Okay, took it down in one hit. Wasn't even a critical. Alright, that's it. I knew it. You are good. I sure am. Well, I'll probably get going. Greenwood Town is quite far away, but I'd like to get there before having the rest. See you later. Alright then. This guy is another optional battle. Okay then. Now that he's out of the way. Uh, very quickly I want to do this here. And now I'm poisoned. Great. All I wanted to do was level up to level 29, but I have an antidote, so forget you. You know what, how about I save my potions and switch out to a different Pokemon? Maybe War Turtle. Again, he looks optional because he's just spinning to win. How would I pick up the item before he sees me? Oh, and an escape rope. And that might come in handy soon. My bug Pokemon Rock. Of course he just has freaking bug Pokemon. Didn't even get to damage me. Oh, forget this. I'm just using Vulpix. Wow, it protected itself. It protected itself again? My god. Die. Okay, done. I'm disappointed. You must be. Alright. This trainer, however, looks required, so... Might not be speeding this one up. Hey, you look kinda cute. Let's have a match, okay? Well, okay. Since I look cute, apparently. She looks like she means business. And that was already a bad move. Bringing out War Turtle. Bell Sprout's a grass type, that's why. Alright, one hit. Center it. Well, it's just a normal type, so... Well, actually, I could use Nidorino because it, no, it has double kick. Fury swipes. Oh, it missed. I'm gonna have a quick attack. Okay, almost. Fury swipes. Okay. Yeah, it hit four times. Of course it did. And then Weeping Bell. No, nope, keep Vulpix out here. Oh my god! That facial expression. My good, of course it's easy. I don't care! I don't care! Wow, okay. Wake up, for goodness sakes. Hmm. Is Sleep Powder even supposed to keep me, like, asleep for that long? You know what? Screw this. I'm going back to heal. You know what? I just want to bring this up right now. I am not trying to speedrun through this game by speeding up the emulation here. It's not because I'm trying to get through the game faster. It's just that a lot of annoying things are happening here. Have you heard of the recently discovered HM Surf? No. I was told that some, mach some machine researcher from Agent Ware... Argon Warehouse, I should say, generated this hidden machine for making it possible to ride a Pokemon on water. Alright, this guy looks required. He definitely is. I bet you haven't seen this Pokemon before. Oh, it's a Poke Fan. Licky Tongue. Oh, you mean that 
Pokemon with the extremely creepy tongue. No, I've seen it before. It's terrifying. Get it out of my face, please. Darn, that barely did anything. And of course it's going to use Defense Pearl. What happens if I use Dig, then? Will that even do any damage to it? Oh, uh -huh, you missed... No, barely does anything to it, and it keeps using the fence curl. Let me try some of my other attacks here. What about double kick? Oh, oh, that's super effective. Okay, maybe because it's part, maybe because it's part normal type. Of course, that's a critical hit, and of course, it recovered using a berry. Okay, get get the heck out of my face. It should have had, it should have had you licked. You know what? You're probably the creepiest NPC I've encountered so far. Get the heck out of my face. How about that one? gonna lick me today. Forget you, son. Again, this guy looks optional. Just great. I challenge you, but all my Pokemon fainted in a battle against that rolling geek. Excuse me, my friend. Don't call him a geek. And then again, since when was he my friend? One of my colleagues. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm starting to lose my mind now, and this guy's required. Let me show you the real, real power of Magnificent Bird Pokemon. And also, I can't speak English today. Because I'm illiterate. Forget it. Again, with his purple pants. Oh my goodness gracious. Stupid things are happening all over the place right now. Oh, it flinched at least. Good. Let's keep it like that. Oh, it flinched again. Good, good. Keep doing that then. Good. Darn. Dead. The Giotto. And just bite, bite this one as well. Or maybe not. No. Okay. Gust. Doesn't do too much. Okay, done. Birdkeeper Julius. I can't believe they lost the fight. I can. You're headed to Mount Lima, right? In that case, you should pack lots of healing items, since there are no Pokemon centers nearby. Well, Mount Lima's not really that long, but... Hmm. Well, I do have a lot of... I do have a lot of money, don't I? Wow, okay, I, I do. I have tons of money. $11,249. In that case... Hold on. I can cut this tree down. Uh... Okay, might need to use my item finder here. Yep, it's responding to something. Item finder indicates there's an item nearby. Oh, right here. A super repel. Real nice. Alright, is that the only one? Is that the only hidden item? Yeah, I think it is, because it's not responding now. No. No, it's not responding, so... Alright, let's go to... Well, before we go to Mount Lima, let's go and uh, purchase some items first, so I'll be right back.